What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last break of the night. 2022 Tops Pristine Baseball. Four box half case break. Pikachu's number two just sold out. Remember, all cards ship. And here we go. So we had to sell the last handful of teams via a pack filler. So little character sign means you won that there. Oh, he's taking off. Alright, they're gonna pivot over this dude now. It's over. This cop is pissed, probably. <laughs> he's like, ah, and he's just gonna leave. What? Yeah, he's literally right next to Cal State Dominguez Hills. He might actually be going into the campus. Yeah, I'm curious if he was like, if he actually was, like, at Legoland. And something happened, he just said. Oh, he effed up. He effed up. He's like in one of those gated communities now. Oh, wow. They let the gate open. Oh, no. He's going into mobile homes. No, that was a gated community. Well, he's definitely trapped in there now, right? Because the cop can literally park in front of the exit. He just, like, runs into the cop car. Oh, the tr oh, do you think the driver opened the gate? I guess he could have. That's true. So then maybe he does live there. Man, what a guy. He lives in a gated community. He's on a chase. Actually, you know what? That is a mobile home, actually. It looks like some of those houses look like... I recognize the top ceiling like that. Those are mobile homes. You know what? I wonder if it's that mobile home park right next to the stadium. Because I remember one time Vanessa picked me up there um, after the Eagles Chargers game. Yeah, that's a mobile home park right there. Oh, I think I know where that's at. Yeah. Very nice mobile home area. Oh, yeah, and now he's giving up. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, man, they're going to tackle her. Oh, it's a female. It's over now, I guess. Rosarania? Pure power. I did, Nick. I think that was going to you. I believe so. The video's been posted if you want to double check. Oh, you did see it. Alright. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Yachty. Right 
Brandon Marsh. Nick just can't get enough of us. Just can't. Julio. Urias. All right, here we go. Here's some hits. Jose Altuve to 75. Eloy Jimenez to 25. And Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. Nice Seattle Mariners hit there. Timothy. Luis Gonzalez. Ah, see? Check in the investment. That's what you just have to tell the wife. You have a little conversation here or there with us. You know, it's not going to hurt. Evan Longoria. See, for me, my wife works here. So I don't ever have to worry about anything. <laughs> and the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Chicago White Sox, David Yang. And the beauty of this hobby too, guys, is that at some point, for some people, it doesn't even have to be about investments for the love of the hobby. And that's the good thing is that there's enough out there for people that want to make money, there's people that want to collect, you know, want to have a little fun, to be honest, right? The little G word aspect of it, right? But there's enough for everybody. I personally love this hobby. Yes, do I collect to try to potentially make some money? Yeah, but I've lost a lot of money and I'm okay with it because I love the cards. Maybe if Miles Sanders has a 2,000 yard season, I will be rich. I always used to tell people, like, oh, when are you going to sell your stuff? I'm just like, well, I mean, I always, I always think that everybody's cards, whether they're personal collection or not, they are available at some point. Because, obviously, you'd be kind of dumb not to get rid of it if you're a player that you invested into that no one did, or no one has, you know, goes up three, 400%, and you can make a good little amount of money on it, right? But some people stick to it and say, nope, it's mine forever, and that's okay. There's no right or wrong way to go about it but my cards were always available if like Miles Sanders had like you know 2,000 yard rushing game and like my card price my money went up like two three hundred percent and exactly yeah all cards are available at the right price you know I had to pay for some stuff I had to pay for some bills the other day they were a little unexpected right and I never I thought I would never sell my one-on-one -on -one Nebula McNabb and I did but it helped me pay for some stuff, you know? Clemente. Mike Piazza.
Ichiro to 99. Gold, Matt Manning to 50. And Jesse Winker is our first auto, patch auto right there. All right, here we go. First one is Sammy Long. San Francisco Giants. That is going to Tyler Brenner. Ichiro for the Mariners. Seattle Mariners, Timothy. Brandon Marsh. Whoa. Tony Perez. Wow, look at that. To 99 for the Cincinnati Reds. Tyler Brenner. Solid hit. Soto, will he be a Dodger? That is the question. Or will it be a Met? Will it be a Padre? Will it be a Yankee? Will it be a Cardinal? We're going to find out soon. Nestor with that one. And Elvis Andres for the A's to 75. Our next box. Yeah, Soto. Terry, our good customer earlier, you know, big Dodger fan, saying that he, he's calling it. He said on Monday when the Dodgers play the Nationals, he's going to get traded that day. I was like... If he does, he better play for the Dodgers that day then. Because I'm, I'm paying money to see him. <laughs> I mean, of course, see the Dodgers. But also, I wanted to see Juan Soto. I haven't, haven't seen him ever play live. So I was hoping to catch a game before he got traded. I mean, the LA destination for, you know, long term, even if it's 10, 15 years, I mean, yes, there's a lot, like, for, I don't know, I guess for rich people, I guess it does matter, but not, like, that rich for, like, Soto. It's not going to matter that taxes and the cost of living is so expensive here with the contract he's going to get. It's just more about, like, will he love living in Los Angeles? You know? He's going to be with his, his buddy Turner. I don't know if he already spends the offseason here already, but most people do. Right? He can live he can live wherever he wants in LA area. But it's really I'm sure it's worried about where he wants to play for the next 10, 15 years. But, you know, like I said, if I had to choose and I was a professional athlete, LA would always be at the top of my list. Yeah. I hear that. Uh, I think Ken Rosenthal said that he predicts he's going to go to the Padres, which. I don't know if I like that. 
Machado, Soto, and Tatis at some point. So I don't know. We'll see. I, I think the Padres are going to make the biggest push because that's really their way to compete with the Dodgers in the NL West. All right, and this Miggy is actually going to be a gold. San Diego is a great place to live, too. 43 out of 50. Well, that's the thing is which teams are willing to give up their future. You know? Well, that's the one thing. They were saying that the... They be, they're basically telling people we want this person, this person, that person, this person from you guys. If you're willing to do it, let's talk or something similar. Or if not, we're moving on to the next team. And it's like, which teams are going to be willing to give up what they want? With Merrifield? And I think a lot of people are saying, damn, I don't know if I want to do that. Max Kepler? But yeah, the Dodgers... And I think Ken Roosevelt was talking about it earlier too, that... You know, for the Dodgers, for the trades that they've made, for like Machado and they made for, you know, um, Turner and these guys, all their prospects they've given up so far hasn't haven't really panned out. So it's like they haven't really given up so much per se, but some of the guys are going to be asking for for Soto. They're obviously very intriguing players. Lou Gehrig to 50. And Casey Mize. But it's like, which team is going to be okay with giving up what they want to get the guy? Juan Gonzalez to 50. Jose Canseco. 15 of 50. And Pete Alonzo. So that's A's Oliver, Mets is Adam. Yeah, but they won't give up Julio. <laughs> and not after the seasons he's having. Paul Goldschmidt. But I'm sure they asked. Trey Turner. And John Carlson. 75. Alright, last one. Where's Chad at, Jimmy? Let's see how he feels. <laughs> He'd probably be okay with letting go of Kalanick and those guys. Oh, well, you're saying... Oh, okay, but your, your trade scenario is, like, actually training more people plus Soto.
I guess you can get Strasburg off the books, right? A little bit. I mean, you could. Why not, right? That's true, though. I, there's no way that anyone's going to trade for Soto and if he doesn't, it's like a trade and sign. Right? Because you would be giving up way too much for a guy that's not even going to stay past whatever years he has left on his contract. Ken Griffey Jr.? Also, I think... We have a red coming up. Cardio Stramski. Stramski to 99. And we have a red Zach Gallen for the Diamondbacks going to Shea. 2 of 5. 2 of 5. Very nice. Nice little color match there. All right, here we go. Patch autographs coming up first. And it's Lou Bob, Luis Robert. Ten of twenty-five, Chicago White Sox win it. David Yang, very nice, buddy. Cal Ripken Jr. to seventy-five. Jake Cronenworth. Paul DeJong. For the Cardinals. St. Louis Cardinals, that is uh, Patrick Davis. Tony Gwynn to 25. Dick Allen for the Phillies. And last one. Oh, a little bit of a teaser. Tyler Glass now for the Rays. Rays is Johnny Moy. And there you go, folks. That was the break. That was pick your team number two. Number three is on the website from a fresh case. If you guys want to get that one going with Joe tomorrow, jazbeescasebreaks.com.